Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcon RC, the home of the scale for jets. And on this video, I'm going to show you how I hook up or set up my canards. Uh, I don't have a profile airplane right now, so all I can show you basically is my scale planes. Uh, this one is the Jazz 39. I built this one a few months ago. I'm trying to get the blueprints for it, you know, to make it available, but I just haven't had enough time. But anyway, uh, this Jazz 39 right here, guys, is flying on full flying canards. Uh, basically, the canards do most of the job on this one. Uh, you see, this one has a carbon fiber rod going from the the canard, which is actually all balsa wood. The, the carbon fiber rod goes in here, and you have an aluminum sleeve on it. Uh, basically, like this one right here, this. It's have aluminum sleeves. That's the one they secure to the plane, you know. And on this end, I glue a servo arm one right here and of course you know so I can hook my servo to it uh, you see right there moving so um, they are independent basically of, of, of each other they are on different servos so they can move freely uh, okay and another one right here that I have is this all long EC uh, working basically the same way exact same setup uh, we got the canards right, right in there and I mean Let's see how good we can zoom in here. You see, and um, the servo arm is right in there too. The exact same way I did with the with this other one. You see, the, the carbon fiber rod is coming out of there and sticking into a servo arm. Rather, right you can see it rather. Right mm -hmm. And let me move it. You see this one right here. So, so exact same way basically. And let me show you how I do it on on my profile planes so right here I have a piece of foam and we're just gonna pretend <laughs> pretend time <laughs> so okay basically on my profile planes guys I like to use, use a regular push wire push rod wire you know and I like to find some sort of a sleeve for it uh, most of the time this one comes with some plastic sleeves which is great because if it's perfect you know it's not loose or tight you know you have a nice and clean move on it uh, but sometimes we have the wires and we don't have the a sleeve for it uh, what I like to do when I don't have the sleeves or this either buy an aluminum tubing or a, or a copper tubing or sometimes even the, the antennas from an old radio will work you know because those things are hollow and the very last one sometimes it is have a very small hole in it so you can use them actually for that you know if they are tight enough this one is actually an antenna housing thing uh, now when you don't have a tight fit on it or a tight enough fit I actually grab my wire and I like to use aluminum tape on this and roll aluminum tape on my wire you know to make it thicker but not the whole wire guys I only do the part that is going to be with the sleeve like you know this point right here you know let's say that the, the, the sleeve is going to be on this edge I'm only going to cover with aluminum that spot right here this spot where the sleeve is going to be because I, I don't need the aluminum on the whole wire you know just to get it just tight enough you know so it won't be waggling around and now I only use aluminum tape I have tried duct tape clear tape and other types of tapes but they they tend to to come loose and get tight in there you know and aluminum tape you know because it's metal uh, it doesn't uh, you know it, it, it moves freely in there so anyway uh, like I said you know uh, this you have this right here this one is the easy way to do it uh, perfect fit aluminum tubing on this on the push rod wire uh, you see the bends uh, I did a bend this is basically the one that's going to hold the foam in place it'll bend right here and the other bend up and then you get these things from a hobby shop or somewhere you know these little army things it's actually basically the same way they do the setup for alerons a scale same scale alerons whatever you know you have this right here and then this hook right here is going to move your thing up and down uh, but now when you glue this here and this here you really need some sort of a spacer because you don't want this thing to tie you need it a little bit off but you know if you put it off you're, you're gonna have this waggling right here so we need to put a spacer in here uh, for this I like to use my uh, these things right here they use uh, spacers for propellers you know uh, sometimes you have you get some very tiny ones but if you don't have a small one uh, one that is small enough I actually like to use these knobs these are very tiny knobs and they are very lightweight too so there is not no too much to worry about the weight you know slide these ones in here and this is gonna create the space right here between the the canard and the 
and the fuselage basically right here. But let me go ahead and glue some of these in place so you can see that you can actually see how it works. What I'm gonna do right now is basically glue the canaro here, push this rod all the way against the aluminum right here, and and then push this, put the knot between them, the rod and the foam, and glue the rudder in place. See, and the knob is gonna be glued to the canar. So let me glue this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, my friends, so now basically the wire is inside the canard and the knob is between the sleeve and the, the canard. You know, but the wire knob right there is a spacer. Now, what we're gonna do is glue the, the aluminum tubing or your sleeve into the fuselage. Uh, and you know, also notice you know that the sleeve is tight enough but a little bit loose so it won't be you know it won't be binding your servo so let me go ahead and just throw some hot glue in here uh, not all the way to the edge you know because this is where the the thing is throw some hot glue in here i'm going to just push this aluminum sleeve onto the air airframe and making sure that the spacer is doing its job uh, this is just a rough job, you know, just to show you really how it's done. I'm not putting much detail into it <laughs> to get it to look nice. But anyway, uh, basically now the aluminum is in place, attached to the fuselage, and the spacer, the knob spacer is doing its job right there. You see the knob is glued into the canard. See, a very nice clean movement. Uh, see right there sideways. Uh, basically, well, th this is what it's going to look like, you know, you're going to use your push wire right here. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in this hole so my fingers will be off the way. There you go. Now you just push wire and your wire is going to be pushing the canard up and down. And then on the top of this you can throw a popsicle stick over it if you want to be more safe, you know, more secure. And now when I have uh, airplanes that have like a semi scale nose, you know, that my battery is going to be on the top of the plane, I like to do this on the bottom so it won't look so, so ugly, you know. And that way the top of the plane will look like this, you know, you'll have a clean look on it on the above. And you know, this is the way I do it when I have these little arms. Now, when I don't have those arms, I still use my metal wires, guys. But instead of, uh, you know, doing the other, the full bend, I do a, a basically like a L bend. You see this right here? Then I slide this thing over it, my sleeve, basically. And same thing, you know, come here and glue it to the plane. Uh, let me do this real quick. Uh, the video is getting long, but it may be worth it for some of you guys. The, are just starting to do this uh, just cut it out there in this case I'm just going to do it quick you know no fancy jobs like I said before <laughs> so anyway uh, you know we got the wire on on the canard and then of course we have the sleeve that is going to be glued onto the plane uh, in this case right here you know we, we, we will have this one on this size uh, there is no spacer on it, as you notice. Uh, I, I'm not gonna put a spacer just because of the time. And when I have this done right here, what I do, I grab a servo arm and had, uh, no, no hot glue. I mean, I use a Pepsi glue for this. Put a servo arm on this end, which is basically the way I did on my on on that plane that I just showed you a while ago on the long EC and the other one. Just gonna put hot glue in here just to show it to you. Do not use hot glue on this though. You have to use a Pepsi glue or something like that. And before you even glue it guys, uh, try to this part right here, try to hit it with a hammer, you know, or send it out, do whatever uh, it takes to make it rough basically. Cause you don't want that to be very slick or your a Pepsi glue is not gonna stick to it that good. So you know you have it right here and this is going to be working on the plane the same way basically the, the other step was uh, you're going to be able to glue it on place and hook your servo uh, i mean your wire to your servo arm and you will be available to move your to move your canard basically you see right here uh, this is the way i have the canards working on that plane and on the long ec and this is how I do it guys, whenever I only want one servo basically moving both canards. <clears throat> you know, you see right here, basically the wire is going through and through, uh, through the servo arm and the sleeves are on both sides of it. And of course we're going to have a spacer on both ends to make sure, you know, the canard doesn't waggle this way. So now, <clears throat> you know, basically the... Let me see if I can hold it with my fingers right here. You know, have the sleeve hold to the fuselage, 
and both canards are going to move at the same time. And now, before you glue the canards into the wire, uh, you know, before you do the last bend, you put all your, you know, you put this sleeve in, you slide the servo arm, and then you slide your last sleeve, and do the last bend on this side, and then just move everything apart, and epoxy glue this corn on whatever position you want it, you know. You may want it on the middle of the plane, you may want it more to one side. It doesn't matter where you put it really, as long as you have a good access to it. And then of course, you know, you move this back in place and glue them, this thing, so back in place again. So okay my friends, uh, that's how I do my canards. So thank you for watching, subscribe, see you next fly.